Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. Now in this spotlight I'm going to have a look at the block smasher from my factory reloaded. Now I've got a little setup here in front of me but before we get to that let's have a look at the crafting recipe. So the block smasher is made using a factory machine block, some books, some precision sledgehammers and some plastic sheets. Now the precision sledgehammer is made using some sticks and some plastic sheets as well. And the factory machine block is made using some stone and some plastic sheets. And you need these for every my factory reloaded machine, so make a couple of those. And of course, the plastic sheets are made using some raw plastic, which can be obtained by smelting rubber or rubber from any other mod. Well, rubber bars, sorry. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at how this block actually works. Now, the operation of this block is fairly simple. Basically what it does, for example, if you have some redstone ore, it will just smash that into redstone dust. Now this works exactly the same as a pickaxe, so you won't always get the same amount of dust. So now I got four two times, here's five. I believe you can also get three from this. So there's five again. Four. And of course, well, this also works with diamond ore or lapis or so yeah just the same uh, as you would uh, get with a pickaxe just basically just destroys the ore block so for example if you use iron that won't do anything seeing as when you mine an iron ore you just get the iron ore so same thing here with the block smasher now that's well, that's basically how the block smasher works, but the block smasher has an added perk to it. You can actually emulate a fortune pickaxe. So if you enchant a pickaxe with the fortune enchant uh, enchantment, you can actually get more uh, ores, well, more items for a single ore. Then, uh, well, and not always, of course, because fortune, so you have to be lucky. But yeah, that's basically how it works. Now, you can uh, go up to fortune tree, but keep in mind, when you uh, increment this uh, starting at 1, you can no longer go down to 0. So um, if you don't want to, uh, to use Fortune, keep it at 0, else you'll have to replace the block. Now let's uh, go all, all the way up to Fortune 3, which is the highest level, and throw a redstone ore in there. Now as you can see, it's not doing anything. That's because it needs something to operate, something extra, which is mob essence. Uh, if you've seen my mob grinder video, you'll know that mob essence is created by grinding up mobs with the mob grinder. Now I've got some essence in this uh, portable tank here. So let's, uh, let's have that flow into our machine. Alright, so this can store four buckets internally. And uh, now that we're there, we can see the redstone turned into eight pieces which is more than the uh, four or five we got before. Here we go, so five. So like a fortune pickaxe, this won't always give you more. It's, uh, you, you sort of have to have, uh, have to have some luck. Here's seven. There's six, all right. Seven again. Now, I'm not sure, but I do believe they should also work with diamonds. So I believe with a fortune pickaxe you can get two or three diamonds. Yeah, there we go. So three diamonds. So yeah, you sort of have to have some luck. And of course, you need to have this supplied with mob essence for it to actually work. But this way, you can turn your ore box, uh, well, some of them at least, into a decent amount of items. You just have to have a bit of luck sometimes. So here we have eight lapis. So yeah. Um, that's basically it for the block smasher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.